you look at the ruling out of New York where district judge yesterday in New York said, hey, maybe Donald Trump, uh, maybe he didn't rape E. Jean Carroll by the letter of the law in, 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 under New York penal law, but my gosh, in common parlance among the people, uh, U.S. Army, uh, a, 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 the, the the AMA, every other measurement, he did rape her. That's what the judge said, uh, and 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 and, and got quite short with Trump lawyers who suggested their client did not rape E. Jean Carroll. Had that happened any time before Donald Trump, uh, there would be. My God, there would be phone calls an hour, hour and a half later, that person would be out of the race. But, well, it's just not the case here because this is a Republican Party, I guess, that not only is shameless and hypocritical, but they just like to lose. And I can't figure out why they like losing so much. But I just, I have to come to that conclusion that they're afraid to win. Since you mentioned the E. Jean Carroll case, let's just let's look at exactly what the judge said, because the, the, the jury only found Trump liable for sexual abuse. And then there was a new court filing. A judge clarified that the jury found that Donald Trump did rape writer E. Jean Carroll. Uh, and that was in the way that the word is commonly used. The jury handed down that verdict during a civil trial between the writer and the former president, awarding Carroll $5 million in damages. Trump's lawyers filed a motion seeking either to reduce that award or get a new trial, arguing that he was not found liable for rape, like Carroll alleges. Yesterday, Judge Lewis Kaplan, as Joe mentioned, denied that request, saying that the way New York law defines rape is much narrower than how it's commonly defined by some dictionaries and other criminal statutes. In the opinion, Kaplan writes, quote, the finding that Ms. Carroll failed to prove that she was raped within the meaning of the New York penal law does not mean that she failed to prove that Mr. Trump raped her, as many people commonly understand the word rape. Indeed, as the evidence at the trial recounted below makes clear, the jury found that Mr. Trump, in fact, did exactly that. This filing comes as Trump faces a second defamation lawsuit from Carroll over comments he made about her shortly after she came forward with her allegation, as well as comments he made the day after the jury in the first trial handed down its verdict. Remember that? He just couldn't stop. Attorneys for Trump have not responded to requests for comment. But it's interesting, Kevin McCarthy is so scared of this man. He's so frightened of his shadow. And yet this woman will hold Donald Trump accountable no matter what she has to go through and no matter how long it takes. Just saying, very, well, very, very different uh, <laughs> different uh, abilities to handle stress. Let's put well, it that way. And, and, and if you want to really look at just how much this party has devolved from 2016 when the Access Hollywood tape came out, you actually had had Republicans saying, Mike Pence, everybody said, we, we can't we can't follow this guy anymore. We 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 and they they were speaking out against him. Uh, and and so you now have a president, as you said, that has been indicted three times, indicted for stealing nuclear secrets and hiding them in his beach club. Uh, a military uh, other military secrets also stolen from the U.S. government hidden in his beach club. You have a, a, a district court judge calling Donald Trump a rapist, saying that he is a rapist. Again, this is a, any one of these things would have finished anybody's Anybody. political career in either party pre Donald Trump. It is truly frightening what the Republican Party has become because any time a politician was, 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 you know, it just a, Listen, a, you wouldn't want someone judge, like this working a, in your business. A ju well, a judge, <laughs> a judge says he's a rapist. What, what company would continue having this guy as their CEO? Stealing nuclear secrets. They would be fired immediately. Just leave the building. We're going to box your stuff up and leave the building. I mean, these are the sort of things, Willie, that again, I mean, the fact that the Republicans are sitting back and they're fine with all of this, 
They're fine with nuclear secrets being stolen. They're fine with military secrets being stolen. They're fine with, with military plans to invade Iran being stolen. Uh, Donald Trump lying to the government when they try to get those secrets back. And a judge uh, saying Donald Trump raped E. Jean Carroll. And they're fine with that again. It just it keeps getting more, uh, more bizarre every day. Yeah, and I think it's important you say that. It wasn't always like this. We, have, we all have kids mm -hmm. of a certain age who are growing up in this last decade in this political culture asking us and wondering, has it always been like this? No, it has not always been like this. And it shouldn't <laughs> be like this. We should go back to it not being like this, where people are held to a certain standard of behavior. Leaders are, sell, are held to a standard of behavior. But it takes not even courage, but it takes some integrity to do that. And man, is there a deficit of that in the leadership of the Republican Party? You even had Republicans coming out yesterday desperately saying, well, the only reason Jack Smith and the government and the Biden administration is coming out with these indictments is to silence us and to overwhelm the news day on our investigation of Hunter Biden and the Oversight Committee. They don't they can't bring themselves to express concern about very serious potential crimes, because, again, that would mm -hmm. mean criticizing Donald Trump. It's hard to explain to somebody who hasn't been watching it as closely as we do every day. If you drop down from another planet and you ask somebody, you know, why is this happening? How can you allow this to happen? It's a tough thing to explain, except for the fact that they are afraid. They're afraid of Donald Trump. They continue to be afraid of his voters. And it's unclear, really, inside the Republican Party anyway, what breaks that fever. And we're going to get to the investigations uh, also. I mean, again, so-called whistleblowers. I mean, uh, oh I mean, the, these IRS whistleblowers at least weren't spies. At least they didn't illegally smuggle Iranian oil to the Communist Chinese Party. At least they weren't an active agent for the Chinese Communist Party, like the last whistleblower was. But this whistleblower admitted, yeah, yeah, I brought this up to the Trump administration and the Trump Justice Department. They didn't see anything there either. And oh, yeah, all those things... Republican congressmen have been saying about Merrick Garland that I said about him, supposedly. Those are lies, too. So they're just throwing things at the wall because they're so desperate. They don't want Americans to hear that a judge uh, called Donald Trump a rapist. They don't they, they don't want the American people to focus on the fact that Donald Trump stole nuclear secrets, wouldn't give them back to the government that Donald Trump uh, stole military secrets and secret plans to invade Iran and wouldn't give it back to the government. They don't, they don't want people to know. So they make things up, and they have all of these so-called whistleblowers who, again, admit the Trump Justice Department said, yeah, there's nothing there.